Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Virgo. My fellow Virgos, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 27th of July through the 2nd of August, 2020. Please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else. All right, my fellow Virgos, let's see what energies and messages we have for you this week. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, we've got Fifth Chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Nice. Talking about your throat chakra. All right, communicating. Nice. All right, Spirit. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Virgo need to know this week? It's 27th of July through the 2nd of August, Spirit. Thank you. All right. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. Situation. Nice. We've got the star. Foundation. We've got the lovers. What's benefiting you this week is the Knight of Cups. Right. Crowning you, oh my goodness, Wheel of Fortune. Virgo, you've got amazing uh, opportunity coming in here. Wow. And it's ushering in a change of luck. Look at this. All down the middle, all major arcana. And your outcome energy is the Three of Swords. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> the chariot. We're definitely talking about timing here, okay? All right. Very nice. Okay. Look at all of this major arcana. So we have, all right, we have six energies here, okay? Four out of six are major arcana. That's that's just wonderful, okay? It's very powerful. Don't freak out over this three of swords. You have an opportunity coming in here. And, you know, I'm getting almost a past energy, and I'll get into that in a moment. Uh, get ready. Get ready, Virgo. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, and that happens very quickly. When the Wheel of Fortune shows up, things are fixing to pick up very quickly. Same thing with the chariot, okay? We're talking about movement forward, okay? And you've got to be ready. You've got to be flexible, okay? And you've got to jump on that wheel, all right? And that's exactly what you're doing here, Virgo. Amazing. I'm also getting three days to a week, okay? You guys are going to have to leave me a message and let me know what that means to you. <clears throat> All right, we've got fifth chakra, Archangel Gabrielle. I don't feel like there's any blockages here. If you do feel like you have a hard time communicating with people, speaking, um, you know, call upon Archangel Gabrielle here. Uh, you can also meditate and, you know, focus on your throat, all right, and your throat chakra and allow a healing to take place. But like I said, I feel like Virgo, you guys, you know, I feel like you're setting your intentions. Um, you know, you're making your mark. You're communicating what it is that you want, what you desire. And I feel like you're doing this um, in your manifesting. All right. I could just I could see you just speaking it to the universe. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Virgo. I'm going to tell you something. Words are powerful. And you're fixing to see this. Okay? You're fixing to witness this. Firsthand. What you have been communicating to the universe that you want is right here. Okay? And you did it. You did it. Ooh. Guys, I've got goosebumps. The harem arms are standing up. I love it. Some of you, I feel like you could be speaking or you may have to um, get up. You know, maybe it's a conference or it's a room. Maybe you are a manager 
and you have people that listen to you when you speak okay uh, I feel like it's very important so you could be a boss you could be a manager you somebody that's over others okay for some of you you need to speak up a closed mouth doesn't get fed sometimes you need to speak your intentions you need to communicate your intentions clearly with others okay especially between give and take relationships that's coming through for some reason some of you may need to set boundaries okay with another person and you need to communicate it and stand firm all right we've got the star the energy of Aquarius coming up here this is your situation all right this is this is so amazing this is definitely I feel like you know you have a dream you have a wish that you want to fulfill you've got a vision Virgo okay this is something that you dream about that you want okay and you have been communicating that to the universe you've been putting it out there manifesting it and here it comes you're going to be finding out this week that that vision that dream is within reach it's doable it's achievable okay and you have you have manifested this vision into your reality you're going to start to see everything unfolding and it's going to happen very quickly you've been listening to your intuition you've been paying attention to your guides your ascended masters your past loved ones all right you know definitely your crown chakra your third eye all of it's open virgo and you are aware and awake okay and get ready make sure you're refilling your cup make sure that you are rejuvenated because this is going to happen very very quickly right here now you got the lovers the energy of gemini in your foundation this is what's moving you forward this is what's driving you this week okay the lovers in this position you know definitely doing that inner alchemy that spiritual alchemy being a creator uh balancing your energies balancing your relationships but i feel for the majority of you this is a huge decision okay that you're going to be making and it's going to be life changing it's going to and it's going to change your life really in a really really big way virgo it's powerful but it's for the betterment of your situation okay and let me tell you what it is right here you got the knight of cups in the position of what's benefiting you this week okay cancer scorpio pisces this is an opportunity coming in here and you are going to take it all right i, I see you taking it you're going to Yes, I want that. And this is when you're going to hop on this wheel right here. And I tell you what, you're going to go for a ride. <laughs> Some of you, this opportunity, you may have to relocate for it. You may be moving. You may be traveling even, okay? I see it as a blessing, okay? This is a blessing, and it's a life-changing opportunity. You've got the wheel of fortune in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is you hopping on, boy. This is you taking positive, healthy risks. This is you being re-inspired, okay? And you're just going with it. And what happens, you're getting in alignment with your destiny, Virgo, because you're going after something that you have passion for. That's when a change of luck ushers in, Virgo. And things start changing very quickly for the betterment of your situation and your circumstances, okay? Now... We've got the Three of Swords, and I clarified it with the Chariot. Several things I'm getting with this Three of Swords. I'm not getting anything bad, okay? The only bad thing that this could be is you lost your job, okay? You got laid off maybe two or three months ago, okay? And it's been hard. It's been very disappointing, all right? But I, I feel like, you know, uh, for you guys, we're ta definitely talking about timing here. And like I said, I'm getting three days out to a week, okay? Three days out to a week. Something is going to happen. You're, you're either going to be getting that um, opportunity, okay, is going to present itself to you. This could be you moving, okay, relocating. This could be when you're starting this new job, all right? You guys are going to have to leave me a comment. Let me know what the, those that means. Three days to a week. Three days to a week. That's what's coming in here from, from my guide, okay? Now, another thing I want to talk about. you got the chariot, the energy of cancer. Another 
fast moving energy. Okay, and this clarified this three of swords. So whatever disappointment you have been through, especially if it was a loss of a job, um, maybe going through a lot of challenges or difficulties, the chariot is clarifying it, which tells me you are triumphant over adversity. You have grabbed a hold of the reins. You've grabbed a hold of your life. You've taken back authority and power over your situation, over your circumstances, Virgo. And now you're in the driver's seat because you have balance, okay? You've got balance between the spiritual realm and the material realm, all right? And you are moving forward, charging full speed ahead right here. You know where you're going. You know what you want, okay? And you're going after your happiness. And this talks about successful movement forward, and so is the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Now, I did receive a message from my guide a moment ago. If you have car problems, you guys, if you've got a, a tire that keeps uh, losing air, if, if you've got something wrong with it and you know and you, you're just buying time, okay, I feel like it's time to get it fixed, all right? That could be what this, this three days to a week out is. Very interesting, but they're putting that on me pretty heavy. This could be a car problem right here. All right, Virgo, I love you guys. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on here. Let me know what this opportunity is. All right? I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, my fellow Virgos.